Alrighty, guys. I'm I'm going to be using the zip it um tool the to, dra to drain um to clock drain. Um, my sink has been overflown by water. I did try it a little bit uh, just to get the hang of it, so it would come out better in the video, and you guys would have a better understanding of how to use this tool. Now, in the back, it gives you examples, but it's always uh, good to see visually. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so it's actually going in little by little. Um, it kind of has trouble, obviously, because it's clogged up. And the little spikes, um, I'm not sure if you can see it right here. Those little spikes are very spiky. <laughs> let's go ahead and see how this works out. Okay, it's not going to work out. I mean, it is, but it's going to take a very little amount. I want to go all the way in to actually take out something. Ew. Okay, now it's going to go in. Uh, hopefully. Yeah, it is. Okay. As you can see, the water's actually flowing rapidly down because obviously it's getting clogged. So, let's go ahead and pull this baby back. So it's obviously cleared up in one end. Um, so let's see. Okay, so it's actually cle cleared up in one end. Let's try the next thing right here. Ugh, look, all this nastiness. Alrighty, so I just cleaned it up again. Let's go back again to see what do we get out again. As you can tell, it actually does the job. That's what it's saying. Oh, God. More. Ew. And I haven't cleaned this for about six months. Just because it just started, gave us, um, started to give us problems. Just making sure that I'm grabbing every little thing from in there. Uh oh, it got stuck a little bit. Okay, so now it's actually taking out all the stuff. It can't get nastier than this. <laughs> okay, so I think, uh, I'm sure you already got the hang of how to work this, so good luck. 